G'day, watching Cuts with a K, and it is day four of making an EP in a week. I'm just gonna start on the fourth song. I'm gonna finish it off, I'm gonna make it like fairly simple so that I can do it just in one day. And then I'm gonna go back to the Celtic piece that I was working on in day three. Um, and I kind of feel like probably made it too repetitive and I should change it up a bit more. But today I'm gonna be working on this uh, fifth idea that I've got here, a calmer, more pad focused song. Uh, and I've got French's farm listed here as my field recording to inspire me. So I've put in the French's farm recording in here already. I also, on day one, when I was looking for different synth sounds to use, I wrote down the sounds of these two synths here. So I went and found them again. Could be maybe more of a rhythmical one, but I'll also see what other sound options there are. Oh, that's creepy as. Yeah, you know what? I'm not gonna use the breath control one. I actually think that sounds hella creepy now. Uh, I'm kind of feeling like I also want to do finger clicks. Kind of like I did in a lot of my tracks in my previous EP. I downloaded my backup of Adventure and I'm just gonna take the clicks from there. Maybe I'll come up with some sort of beat or like percussion for the whole song build onto that. Let's um, get into some Logic Drummer. Uh, I might start with like clicks and then I'll move into this simple version of the Portland beat and then I'll move it to the more complex Portland beat and I'll bring a shaker and clicks in and out um, throughout the song. So I'm just going to set that all up now. After mucking around with the synth a bit, I've got this very slow melody happening here. Um, if I play it, it'll take ages to play the whole thing. Yeah, it's just a very simple melody in C major. Probably could have come up with a more interesting key to put it in, but it's fine. <laughs> so this is how it starts off. So you have a very long attack. It was almost at 100%, and now I've turned it down a lot, so I just need to maybe play around with that a little bit more. Thinking I'm gonna have this in as the bass for the A section and the B section. Uh, and then the C section, which is the faster drums, will be something else. I'll probably have a flute solo added. Uh, I'm definitely gonna play this on an actual flute. I've got this going on here. And then the French's farm sounds come in. Here I'm gonna put in a flute solo. I probably won't improvise it. I'm not ecstatic about how I improvised in the second piece that I was working on. So I'll probably write this out properly, but I wanna just get um, more of a solid structure of the rest of the song before I do that. Yes, yeah, so there'll be a solo there. There'll be a solo in the C section here, um, which I'll repeat in this C section too. I probably won't have a final C section. But I'll put it there just in case I want to do it, but it might be a bit long. Um, I might also get rid of this a, uh, second A section as well. But I'm gonna look for a slow bass synth uh, to add into this and put together a choral part. Yeah, maybe not. Should I use it just because it's got cloud in the name?
So I've come up with a simple baseline now to go with that. I started with a synth E bass, um, but I kind of ended up changing it around so much that it's not really anything like it, but I guess I just ended up using um, this instrument. Um, so I've added together a sine wave, a triangle wave, and some noise, but it's mostly the triangle wave. I tried changing around the uh, clouds set adrift sound to have the notes actually change at the point in which I'm trying to make them change, like where I've written that they're supposed to change but I'm not really getting anywhere so I think at this point I just have to leave it because otherwise I do really like the sound. I created a slightly faster part for a vocal part so this I would re-record with my own vocals. So I've got the vocals changing on the second or fourth beats of the bar instead of the first. <laughs> Maybe not in this B section, but in the next one, I'll probably have the same thing happening, but I will improvise some flute in it. And I was thinking of maybe adding the airway sound because I love the airway sound. Um, so I've just sort of changed it around a bit. Uh, it sounded something like this before. I'm sure it's actually... Yes, yeah, so this is the standard airway sound. I've changed it up. to just be kind of like that. And uh, I actually haven't written anything for that. I just copied this onto the track so that I could play around with the sound. I've added in a simple Airways part just to add a new texture, nothing fancy. And I think I might see if I can find uh, some sort of rhythmic synth sound that I feel fits. Cause I think that would be nice to have in for small bits here and there. I've added in the rhythmic synth in just like every few bars. I've added a few more things to the last A section, uh, which I've now made the outro of. Just have it sort of fading out a bit more naturally. And the only thing that's left to compose is flute. Because I originally started learning music through classical music and was taught to read sheet music, I like to compose things on sheet music generally, uh, unless it's something more simple like what I'm doing here. Actually, kind of like what I came up with there. I'm gonna just improvise this and maybe I'll write something proper for the C section. Time for some vocal recordings to finish off this song. I've listened to my Celtic inspired track again that I made on day three and actually I like it more than I remember so I think it's fine. I did have an idea to add guitar to it so I think I'll do that in the morning of day five um, and I'll get someone else to play it. I've just cut out the first loop where it's just the violins by themselves because I think it's probably nicer for the flute to just start straight away. I think I'm gonna try and get an actual Irish drum sample and see how it sounds with that. 
because I think that maybe that will probably be the most appropriate and actually it probably won't be as hard as I thought it was gonna be. Oh, I don't know what rhythm I want because I want to create my own rhythm, but I don't know if that'll be possible necessarily. I'm confused about how much I even need to pay. Am I dumb? Sure, once I beat Detective it, it'll be great. Yeah, I don't know. I don't want a sample. I want an instrument, you know? Well, I suppose at least got to try it out. <laughs> well, I haven't figured out how to use contact yet, which is my to-do list. <laughs> Maybe that won't be for this particular project. I'll run this through Beat Detective so I can put it back in here for when the guitarist plays. Here I've got a semblance of in time cajon now. I've still got a bit of time left today and I don't really feel like doing any mixing or tuning of the flute and vocals that I just recorded. So I think I will make a start on the final song. Now, because this song uh, did not come out being as upbeat as I was kind of envisioning, I'm gonna aim to make something that's much more on the energetic side. Start with some sort of rhythmic synth, kind of the same way that I started when I made Adventure, which was on my previous EP, and make a chord progression. this sound for something many years ago. It was kind of lit. <laughs> Very fun, but not the vibe, I don't think. I'm kind of vibing that. I think I'll just, just do it. So I came up with a chord progression and low key, thought it sounded pretty cool just on the piano with just the sustain pedal open the whole time. So I think I'll just record it on the piano and uh, think about what to add later. But I think piano will be the bass again for this song. I could like not be complete white blob, that'd be great. <laughs> okay, I guess I'm gonna look like this. You can't even see the keyboard. What am I doing? down and think of something. That could be another variation actually. Maybe something electronic. That's a lot. <laughs> oh my god, am I suddenly making a dance song? I don't know, am I making a dance song? I don't know, maybe I shouldn't go with electronic. Well, yeah, electronic music it tends to be dance music. I 
think we're making a dance song. I don't know how this happened, but it's happened. We're here. We're making a dance song. Okay, let's see. Okay, I'm going to use After Hours. I'm going to use Insomniac. I like both of them. That was too spicy. <laughs> okay, I want to add a couple more textures in the uh, third time this loop happens. Uh, so I'm going to find some sort of pad. returns. What is that? But let's make this not as complex. No. I need to make sure I'm not putting every single thing in here in the same octave as well. So I'll do. of the octave. I feel like maybe this should have more notes in it. And just one line. Okay, I think I've done enough work for the day. I'm pretty satisfied actually with what I've achieved today. See you tomorrow for day five.